Hey, what's up you all welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be talking about ticker symbol nndm nano dimension limited the stock is trading at 11 dollars and 31 cents and i believe it's a great time to review and revisit this stock once again i reviewed this stock when the stock was eight dollars around eight dollars i had multiple videos about it and in dm in the past uh, this particular video i just wanted to share it was on uh, christmas day on december 25th the stock was trading below nine dollar level and uh, I reviewed and I we discussed that the stock can go to 2x to 5x and the stock did go 5, 2x level um, and if you take a look right here when uh, this is uh, I want to say this is around the December 22nd uh, right here so eight dollars this is Christmas uh, time and the stock did go 91 nine, uh, right here nine 104 105 uh, percent so the stock did double um, uh, from their eight dollars level went to sixteen dollars uh, there was a little bit of a deep and uh, the stock got a lot more hit during these red days uh, in last couple of weeks as you can see from sixteen dollars seventeen dollars to seven dollars and sixty one cents i wanted to do this video earlier but i had other uh, stocks that i wanted to review first like hcmc zom so i'm doing it today there is also one more reason i want to do so, so in this video i'll be talking about three things the first one is nndm earning that they have disclosed they shared their earning for q4 and 2020 so we'll look into it they have a huge pile of cash they're 1.5 billion dollars in cash so we'll talk about that pretty pretty interesting stuff we'll also review what katie wood has to say whether arc invest is still as bullish as they were in the past or not that can be one of the reason why the stock can go back to 17 dollars level i do believe the company has a lot more potential and the third thing is we'll do my own review and analysis where the stock price can go from here whether this is still investable or not and my personal thoughts and opinion so consider subscribing to this channel because we have been doing a lot of research and review on various stocks similar to nndm we have reviewed some of the stocks they are three to five times than when where it was oeg is one of them zom uh, ctrm we talked uh, about sndl all these stocks are more than triple or quadruple from their original price point and in dm was doubled within one or two months i want to say so some of the great analysis so consider subscribing to my channel for future videos timely updates analysis i'm not a financial advisor but i do a lot of research and analysis hoping it'll help you out this is not a financial advice to buy or sell and dm or any other stock on this channel consider clicking on the like button your like is very much appreciated it helps me making sure that this video can reach to more and more people so consider subscribing consider like uh, clicking the like your help and support is very very much appreciated for the growth uh, of this of this channel and we have been growing thanks to you all now looking at once again i want to go back and say when the stock was below nine dollar level i thought it uh, could double pretty quickly and i do think that uh, i i did not buy it at uh, at this price point but seven dollars and sixty cents uh, was a, another good price point to buy i i still believe if the stock had a little bit of a deep i may buy if i had enough cash to buy the stock because it's a relatively uh it's a risky investment once again stock in itself is a risky investment riskier investment i'm not going to buy my entire portfolio or anything but i want to uh, buy back a small position because i do believe that it'll go back to 17 dollars level that that it was in the past now looking at the volume their volume is 27 million compared to the 34 million dollar volume but and and it is a steady pretty steady volume and we'll talk about that in a bit but uh, let's take a look at the earnings that the company has declared so the company uh, declared the earnings just yesterday and uh, Nano Dimension reported the revenue of 1.97 million dollars so close to 2 million dollars revenue in for the fourth quarter of 2020 and 3.34 for the full year a uh, full year of 3.3 million for the full year in 2020 the company ended the fourth quarter with 670 million dollars in cash in, uh, in 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 bank deposits huge amount of cash that the company had in fourth quarter 
2020. Now, I want to tell you one more thing. As of February, their CFO announced that they have $1.5 billion in cash in the bank. Now, do not get confused. This was in Q4 2020, 1.5 billion as of uh, February 2021. So in Q1 2021. So the company, well, the total loss for the company was uh, $17 million in fourth quarter for the company. So the company has still a significant amount of loss, but company has a lot of cash in the bank. So I wouldn't be surprised if the company start acquiring smaller companies, if the company start acquiring some patents and IPs and uh, some intellectual properties and what their CFO and the company said, we ended 2020 with a strong balance sheet of $671 million in cash and cash cash and bank deposits and thanks to the equity offering that they concluded during the year and they have strengthened their balance sheet even more in 2021 with one point close to 1.5 billion dollars in cash at the end of february and uh, they recognized then and also they acknowledge that their revenue uh, of 3.4 million is lower than last year due to the pandemic but better than what they expected, better than what the Wall Street analyst expected as well. We'll talk about that. We'll review that as well. Uh, we're focusing our efforts to fulfilling our growth plan, uh, both internal through the product development enhancement R&D efforts, as well as through the external M&A merger and acquisition uh, activities. During the total gross uh, proceeds was 710 million and they acknowledge the fact that the pandemic uh, hit the company in terms of the business and in terms of the revenue and they have a pretty huge uh, expense and i don't really want to go in too much detail but one thing to note here is the fourth quarter expense uh, r d and expense was 3.70 3.7 million compared to 1.5 million in the same period the fourth quarter in 2019. now sales and marketing efforts were 2.3 million right here compared to 1.3 million obviously the company did not really have a great quarter compared to 2019 because of the pandemic and one more thing to note here is net loss for the full year and you should note this and this is not really a big thing because the company has a lot more projection uh, for 48 million dollars is the net loss or 1.13 uh, $1 and 13 cents per share compared to 8.3 million uh, that they had the loss in 2019. This is not a big concern at the moment because the company has come so far along. They have been signing some contracts, including some defense contracts as well that we'll talk about. We'll also do the comparison as to what analyst thinks. Let's uh, uh, let's take a look right here. Nano Dimension jumped 16% on Q4 revenue beat. The Nano Dimension, their total revenue was 1.97 in Q4, almost with the last year's figure, uh, beat the consensus is by almost one million dollars now their r d expenses was 3.72 doubled than what they had in the same period last year 1.53 the net loss was 17.44 million that means the expectations or consensus by 16 cents the company posted negative point negative point 20 uh, so negative point 20 dollars so negative 20 cents per share compared to what the consensus was of 16 cents the the equity total 667 million as of december 31st 2020 compared to 11.6 million in the same uh, quarter in december the cash and cash equivalent is pretty strong as uh, i just uh, already mentioned 1.5 billion dollar cash is pretty amazing pretty amazing the company has a great future and that is why i believe that the way we see the stock uh, went down so quickly the, uh, by 55%. I do believe the stock can ramp up pretty quickly as well. There might be a deep depends upon the market. There are a couple of factors. One of the things, let's talk about when we talk about NNDM, we have to think about ARK Investment Kathy Wood because uh, she was one of the uh, one of the investor uh, that was pretty, pretty bullish about Nano Dimension. She mentioned, and uh, just to confirm, Wood also shared that some of the reason why ARK Invest uh, had uh, several positions, several ETFs are owning NNDM and they're still as bullish. What she says is practically originally it is used to call NNDM used to call itself a 3D printer circuit board company, which is no longer a case as we already know. Nanodimension has broadened the view of itself into a 3D printed technology 
device company instead of just printed circuit company now i have done further research about nndm if you don't uh, if you haven't watched my video i would recommend you watch this video it has a lot of great information about what the company does what the business is all about and how they expanded and grew their company from a circuit board company into a 3d printed technology device company and the company has a lot more revenue upcoming revenue in future that's what i believe based on my research and analysis however i'm not a financial advisor or an analyst one of the important thing about nndm or nano dimension story is their contracts that they're winning from the defense agencies this is something that i just mentioned before a minute but what Kathy would say is pretty says is pretty important. We always look for where the defense is putting their money, and that's why they're more bullish on this company because there there will be sustained revenue, sustained growth, and the company has a lot of cash. Now, looking at the price point, looking at the let's go back to the December when I was uh, when I did my last video about DM N and DM. Or maybe I have done a couple of videos after that too. But here, the twenty million dollar was the uh, sorry, twenty million was the volume at that time when the stock was trading eight dollars and sixty five cents. Since then, the volume is pretty sustained. So it's not a meme stock, or it's not a stock stock that is stocked a lot more, or there's a hype or anything along those lines. But given that, even with the smaller volume below fifty million uh, volume that you can see right here, the stock hit all the their all time high. 17.77 almost 18 dollars level thanks to arc invest they have been con continuously investing in nndm so that's also one of the factor too now looking at uh, the way the stock uh, came down is mostly due to the red days that we have seen in the stock market in general there were some concerns about the stock market crash and whatnot as you might have uh, viewed some other videos you might have uh, looked at some of the articles but looking at this uh, price point six dollars and fifty cents i was thinking to buy this at that time quite honestly the stock is doubled in five days uh, not double but close to double but from this price point i wanted to say the stock will hit three times um if everything works as intended because the company is going to have more and more revenue they're going to sign more and more contracts they're going to have arc invest more and more bullish this is no longer a 3d printing company now they are 3d printing technology and 3d printing devices the company call itself with a huge amount of cash and innovation that is going on so they will be buying more patents more ips more smaller companies um and they'll be adding more and more into the revenue portfolio and one more thing to also consider is we are going to going out of the pandemic the company had a huge impact they invested in some school systems as well based on my research that i found not a huge but uh, sort of they started and before they grow they hit they, they, they were hit by the pandemic so they were they will be opening up their avenues for more um sort of the earnings and more potential for the revenue and all that kind of good stuff so from 6.5 dollar level i do think that the company will do pretty good now looking at this uh, price point as you can see uh, it's not just about the volume but we have seen consistently upward trends right here and the company gradually went all the way up to $17 level what happened here is and looking at this this nano dimension was a penny stock when we started looking into the stock let's take a look at the one year chart and you'll see uh, before one year at actually in April 20, uh, 2020 the stock was below one dollar level 80 cents level when we started looking into this stock around october november the stock was around two to three dollars level um i started doing some videos around this uh, price point the, the the stock went up especially from the eight dollar level i believe that's when i bought the stock um uh, and I thought it will be doubled as well at that time. But since then, uh, since then, right here, December, uh, end of December, the stock uh, more than doubled from $7, it went to $17, and we are seeing back to $7. So uh, it's up to you. If you want to buy or sell, do your own due diligence. The stock is up 1,000 person in last so 10 times think about it 10 times in just uh, 12 months and uh, if you hold for 10 10 uh, if you hold for the whole year uh, you can get 10x your money that's the overall point and i always diversify my portfolio i sell the stock when i find the next uh, good investment uh, opportunity that's why i sold nndm i believe in the past when i sold it 
and uh, and the stock is back and i think it's a buying opportunity in my personal opinion i'm not a financial advisor i'm not a uh, a certified professional so please do your due diligence before you buy or sell this stock consider subscribing to my channel because your subscription is super super helpful uh, for the growth of this channel and click on the like button so this video can reach to more and more people and once again the stock got a pretty uh, good hit from $14 to $7 so I do believe that uh, some of the run-up if the market sustains uh, on the top of that people will start getting the $1,400 stimulus package which does mean that uh, many people may in choose to invest in stock market i'm not saying they will but based on what we see saw historically when we had more stimulus checks and uh, more money to play with uh, many of us invested in the stock market as well so that will be another catalyst arc invest and kathy would being bullish still in the stock is one of the catalysts as well one of the good thing about it as well 1.5 billion dollars sitting into their bank account in cash and cash equivalents another good thing about the company the way the company will get out of the pandemic and will go and find more revenue opportunities is another good thing for nano dimension so a lot of good things to talk about nano dimension i still believe in the company a lot more but i have invested my money somewhere else at the moment so i could not buy an ndm when it was seven dollars 750 i want to say when i wanted to buy it but uh, i just wanted to share because i thought this is definitely worth doing a video sharing my due diligence and research with you because i know many of our subscribers have bought an ndm i'm not sure they have, if they have sold or not if you haven't sold write down in the comment uh, if you own write down in the comment too i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching